hello hello welcome welcome to day 264 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm gonna be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you have me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time Please kindly go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 264, September 21st, 2023. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Isaiah 49, 8 to 26, Isaiah 50, Isaiah 51, 1 to 16. New Testament, Galatians 6, Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 23, 10 to 18. Old Testament, NIV version, Isaiah 49, 8 to 26. Restoration of Israel. This is what the Lord says. In the time of my favor, I will answer you. And in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people to restore the land and to us to reassign its desolate inheritances to say to the captives come out and to those in darkness be free they will feed beside the roads and the fine pasture on every barren hill they will neither hunger nor thirst nor will the desert heat or the sun beat down on them he who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of water. I will turn all my mountains into roads and my highways will be raised up. See, they will come from afar, some from the north, some from the west, some from the region of Aswan. Shout for joy, you heavens. Rejoice, you earth. Burst into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and will have compassion on his afflicted ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are even ever before me. Your children hasten back, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your children gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. Though you were ruined and made desolate and your land laid waste, now you will be too small for your people, and those who devoured you will be far away. The children born during your bereavement will yet say in your hearing, This place is too small for us. Give us more space to live in. Then you will say in your heart, Who bore me these? I was bereaved and barren. I was exiled and rejected. Who brought this up? I was left all alone, but these, where have they come from? This is what the sovereign Lord says. See, I will beckon to the nations. I will lift up my banner to the peoples. They will bring your sons in their arms and carry your daughters on their hips. Kings will be your first foster fathers and their queens your nursing mothers. They will bow down before you with their faces to the ground. They will lick the dust at your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who hope in me will not be disappointed. Can plunder be taken from warriors or captives be rescued from the fierce? But this is what the Lord says. Yes, captives will be taken from warriors and plunder retrieved from the fierce. I will contend with those who contend with you. And your children I will save. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh. They will be drunk on their own blood as with wine. Then all mankind will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Isaiah 51-11 
Israel's sin and the servant's obedience. This is what the Lord says. Where is your mother's certificate of divorce with which I sent her away? Or to which of my creditors did I sell you? Because of your sins you were sold. Because of your transgressions your mother was sent away. When I came, why was there no one? When I called, why was there no one to answer? Was my arm too short to deliver you? Do I lack the strength to rescue you? By a mere rebuke, I dry up the sea. I turn rivers into a desert. Their fish rot for lack of water and die of thirst. I clothe the heavens with darkness and make sackcloth its covering. The sovereign Lord has given me a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary he wakens me morning by morning wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed the sovereign lord has opened my ears i have not been rebellious i have not turned away i offered my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard i did not hide my face from mocking and spitting because the sovereign lord helps me i will not be disgraced therefore have i set my face like flint and i know i will not be put to shame he who vindicates me is near who then will bring charges against me let us face each other who is my accuser let him confront me it is the sovereign lord who helps me who will condemn me they will all wear out like a garment the moth will eat them up who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let the one who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. But now, all oh, you will light fires and provide yourselves with flaming torches. Go, walk on the light of your fires and of the torches you have set ablaze. This is what you shall receive from my hand. You will lie down in torment. Isaiah 51, 1-16 Everlasting salvation for Zion. Listen to me. You will pursue righteousness and will seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were cut and to the quarry from which you were hewn. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah who gave you birth. When I called him, he was only one man and i blessed him and made him many the lord will surely comfort zion and will look with compassion on all her ruins he will make her deserts like eden her wastelands like the garden of the lord joy and gladness will be found in her thanksgiving and the sound of singing listen to me my people hear me my nation instruction will go out from me my justice will become a light to the nations. My righteousness draws near speedily. My salvation is on the way. And my arm will bring justice to the nations. The islands will look to me and wait in hope for my arm. Lift up your eyes to the heavens. Look at the earth beneath. The heavens will vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment and its inhabitants die like flies. But my salvation will last forever. My righteousness will never fail. Hear me, you will know what is right, you people who have taken my instruction to heart. Do not fear the reproach of mere mortals or be terrified by their insults. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, a worm will devour them like wool. But my righteousness will last forever, my salvation through all generations. Awake, awake, arm of the Lord, clothe yourself with strength. Awake as in days gone by, as in generations of old. Was it not you who cut Rahab to pieces, who pierced that monster through? Was it not you who dried up the sea? The waters of the great deep who made a road in the depths of the sea so that the redeemed might cross over, those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing, everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals? Human beings who are but grass, that you forget the Lord your maker, who stretches out the heavens and who lays the foundations of the earth, that you live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. 
For where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in that dungeon, nor will they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God, who stares up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. I will set the heavens in place, will lay the foundations of the earth, and will say to Zion, You are my people. New Testament NIV Version Galatians 6, 1-18 doing good to all brothers and sisters if someone is caught in the sin you will live by the spirit you restore that person gently but watch yourselves or you also may be tempted carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of christ if anyone thinks they are something when they are not they deceive themselves each one should test their own actions then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else for each one should carry their own load nevertheless the one who receives instruction in the word should share all good things with their instructor do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers, not circumcision, but the new creation. See what large letters I use as I write to you with my own hand. Those who want to impress people by means of the flesh are trying to compel you to be circumcised. The only reason they do this is to avoid being persecuted for the cross of Christ. Not even those who are circumcised keep the law, yet they want you to be circumcised that they may boast about your circumcision in the flesh. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. What counts is the new creation. Peace and mercy to all will follow this rule to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one cause me trouble, for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs 23, 10 to 18. Saying number 11. Do not move an ancient boundary stone or encroach on the fields of the fatherless. For their defender is strong, he would take up their case against you. Saying number 12, apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Saying number 13, do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish them with the rod, they will not die. Punish them with the rod and save them from death. Saying number 11, my son. If your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad indeed. My inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Saying number 15. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the holy spirit thank you lord for saving me and for answering my prayer in jesus name amen congratulations if you said this prayer we are so excited to welcome you to god's family kindly go ahead right now send us an email let us know you gave your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith the email address is salvation 
in Christ 101 at gmail.com. That is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.